Good evening, everyone. We'll call the board meeting to order. We'll stand be led with the pledge by Ms. Gresh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Proclamation from the Governor of the New York State. Proclamation. Whereas each year school board recognition week is observed by more than 700 school boards and school districts throughout the Empire State, and whereas the men and women serving as members of, of our school boards are dedicated to children, learning, community, and devote many hours of service of elementary and secondary public education as they continually strive for improvement, excellence, and progress in education. And whereas the members of New York State's local school boards respond to the educational needs of the communities they serve, and in doing so, these leaders help strengthen our state's educational system and improve future prospects prospects for our children. And whereas during October 29, 2012 and November 2, 2012, special activities and programs will be held in communities across New York State in observance of School Board Recognition Week. And it is fitting to join in acknowledging the commitment and contribution of members of local school boards. Now therefore, I, Andrew M. Cuomo, Governor of the State of New York, do hereby proclaim October 29, 2012, and November 2, 2012, as School Board Recognition Week in the Empire State, given under my hand in the Privy Seal of State at the Capitol in the City of Albany this 10th day of July in the year 2012. Uh, we have certificates here for our board members. Uh, for their outstanding dedication to the students and taxpayers of the Newburgh School District. And uh, we would like to hand those out. Well, you already got them. We got them. <laughs> well, that just shows the model of efficiency that we have here tonight. So how about a nice round of applause for our people? Thank you. item on our agenda is public discussion and comment on agenda items. Um, I'm gonna, there's no one signed up. 
Uh, I'm just going to review our public comment procedures, not only for this portion, but for the later portion of the agenda, um, where we do have several people signed up to speak um, later on non-agenda items. So, um, quick review. You have copies of this procedure on the table as you enter the auditorium. Um, there's a half hour allotted for public comment on agenda items. There's also a half hour allotted for public comment on non-agenda items, which if you're wishing to speak, you'll step to the podium and give your name and address. Um, I will call those that submitted forms to speak uh, ahead of time first. Um, comments shall be limited to five minutes. We will be timing them per speaker whether speaking individually or on behalf of the organization of an organization for a total limit of 30 minutes. No person may speak more than once on a particular subject during the public comment section on agenda items and during the public comment section on non-agenda items. All statements should be directed to the board and no participant may address or question board members or administrators individually. Speakers may comment on matters of public interest involving school operations and programs, but may not criticize or personally attack any persons connected with the school district. That being said, do we have anyone that would like to speak on agenda items? If so, please step to the podium and give your name and address. Being none. Move on to the next item on the agenda. That is from the board president. We have the adoption of revision to policy number 5200, comprehensive student attendance, and policy number 8600, transportation. Can I have a motion? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokhar? Yes. Mr. Red? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Tucci? Yes. Next item on the agenda is from the superintendent. Thank you, Madam President. Resolution A is to approve facilities project change orders associated with approved projects. The NFA renovation project, NFA North Boys Gym uh, renovation project, NFA North Edition alternative project, GAMS renovation, GAMS Science Room Mega renovation. You have a sheet in front of you that was uh, uh, given to us by Terry Damon. He's unable to be with us tonight. And if you want to make a list of questions, uh, we will be glad to give them to him in the morning. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Okosh? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Mr. Kucha? Yes. Resolution B is to approve facility use requests. Uh, Mr. Velez. Thank you, Mr. Pizzo. Tonight we have four facility use requests that were discussed in the business and grant meeting last week. The result of the Board of Education and the Newburgh and Mars City School District hereby approved the use of school district facilities pursuant to the request submitted by each organization. Town of Newburgh Recreation Department, Newburgh Juventus, Cornback Youth Football League, Quick Strikes, SC. Can I have a motion? So, motion. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinsky? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokosh? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Tuchin? Yes. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Pizzo. Our next item on the agenda is from the Assistant Superintendent for Student Intervention and Support Services. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, the Next item is the resolution. Uh, it's the recommendations from the committees of special education. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? 
Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokosh? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. The next item is a resolution to approve the SES master contract. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokosh? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Thanks, I think it's a resolution to approve SES contract required. Can I have a motion? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokosh? Yes. Mr. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Mr. Kuchek? Yes. The next item is a resolution to authorize the Board of Presidents to execute a consultant agreement with Terry Collins, Ph.D., and the Fund Forces IDEA Part B. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokosh? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. <coughs> Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Dr. Noriega. <coughs> Next item on the agenda is from the Executive Director for Curriculum and Instruction. Thank you, Madam President. I'd like to um, request the addition of three um, additional resolutions. Resolutions um, at H, I, and J be added to the agenda. Can I have a motion to add resolutions H, I, and J? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokot? Yes. Yes. Mr. Woodhall. Yes. Mr. Kuchek. Yes. Uh, resolution A is a resolution to approve overnight field trip to Mexico, New York for the Air Force ROTC drill team. The funding source is the Junior ROTC Booster account. Can I have a motion? No, no. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokosh? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution B is a resolution to approve the 2012-2013 exchange program with Catiglion Sicily. No, that can't be it. An overnight trip, uh, field trip by NFA students. The funding source is parents. There's no cost to the district. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokop? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. You're supposed to practice that, Dr. Shanahan, between last I week and this week. I want to say it to them. <laughs> Uh, resolution C is a resolution to approve the overnight field trip to Walt Disney World for the NFA Dance Ensemble, and the funding source is student fundraising. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. Red? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kucha? Yes. Resolution, resolution D is a resolution to authorize the Executive Director of Curriculum Instruction to execute a college readiness system products agreement with the College Board. The funding source is the General Fund. Can I have a motion? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokop? Yes. Mr. Shred? Yes. 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 Resolution E is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute an agreement with the Newburgh Children's Center for the after school program at Gidney Avenue School. The funding source is the Extended Day School Viol Violence Prevention Grant 2012 13. Can I have a motion? Second. 
Okay. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. 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 Lewis? Yes. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokop? Yes. Ms. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kucha? Yes. Resolution F is a resolution to approve conference requests. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokop? Yes. Mr. Shred? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Mr. Kucha? Yes. Resolution added item H is a resolution to approve the overnight field trip to East Aurora, New York for two students from the NFA cross country team. The funding source is General Funds Athletics. I have a motion. Okay. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokop? Yes. Ms. Stress? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Yes. <laughs> resolution item I is a resolution to approve an overnight field trip to Ithaca, New York for two students from the NFA girls swim team. The funding source is General Funds Athletics. Can I have a motion? One more move. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. 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 And the last item, item J, is a resolution to approve an overnight field trip to Ithaca, New York for a student to be determined from the NFA girls swim team. Can I have a motion? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Brokaw? I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, Ms. Prokash. Is that summer tennis? Is that tennis? <clears throat> I believe it is. That's Dr. Shanahan. Our next item on the agenda is from the Assistant Superintendent for Finance. Thank you, Madam President. First, I have a resolution to authorize the awarding of 2012-2013 snow removal and sanding and also district special transportation. Can I have a motion? Refunds pursuant to court orders. <clears throat> there are nine properties to court lines of real estate tax service totaling $11,592.82. One property for Mom and Pops Incorporated <coughs> at Stewart Airport that's for two years and that's $3,482.74. Six properties for Paul and Joseph Management Incorporated totaling $4,383.28. I have a motion. So moved. <coughs> Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Ms. 
Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAdoo? Yes. Ms. Brokosh? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kuchet? Yes. Item C is a resolution to approve the order in court for the fiscal year ended June 30, 2012. Can I have a motion? Mm -hmm. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. And the last item tonight is a resolution to accept the bills and reports. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Mm. Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Red? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Pasella. Next item on the agenda is from the Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources. Thank you, Madam President. On the Human Resources Agenda Items A through L. <coughs> on the professional side, we have change of location, leave of absence, home teacher appointments, a resignation, retirement. And on the civil service side, we have appointments, change of status, return from leave of absence, leave of absence, retirement, resignation, and former employees who passed away. Can I have a motion? Questions or comments? Questions. Yes, Mr. Lewis. Could we separate the uh, item C? <coughs> I have a motion to separate item C from Human Resources Agenda A through L. So move. Roll call. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Lassie? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Red? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Can I have a motion on human resources items A through L, excluding C? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. Maxby? Yes. Mr. Brokaw? Yes. Mr. Shrek? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Mr. Kuchek? Yes. And I have a motion on human resources item C. Um, Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? <coughs> Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution M is a resolution for professional change of status. Can I have a motion? <coughs> Questions or comments? <coughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Red? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution N is to rescind some former <coughs> Schedule J appointments and to approve some corrections in the Schedule J appointments. I have a motion. So moved. So moved. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokosh? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek. Yes. <clears throat> Resolution O is to approve appointments for the 21st century after school program at Horizons on the Hudson. Funding source is the 21st century program grant. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokoff? Yes. Ms. Red? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek. Yes. Resolution P is to approve appointments for the 21st Century After School Program at Temple Hill Academy. Funding source is the 21st Century Program Grant. I have a motion. Second. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes.
Kennedy? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Fred? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution Q is to approve the appointment for the 21st century after school program at Heritage Middle School. The funding source is the 21st century program grant. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Luchek? Yes. Resolution R is to approve the appointments for the SMART program at Gidney Avenue School, contingent upon funding through the New York State Ed Extended School Day Violence Prevention Program. Can I have a motion? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution S is to approve appointments for the School Violence Prevention Extended Day Program at New York Free Academy, the North Campus. Funding is contingent upon the funding of the New York State Extended School Day Violence Prevention Program. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll, oh, Ms. Stephanie. It's, it's sort of a little above. At, at some point, could, could we have a, a report of, of what the 21st century grant and, and this violence prevention grant uh, what, what they are and, and how the money is, is used because there obviously is a lot of money to, to pay all the people who are listed here and I'm just curious as to who decides exactly what is done and, and so on because it could be that it's being used in frivolous ways or it could be that they're absolutely excellent programs and perhaps we don't know about them and should. Dr. Shanahan? Yes, I can get you that information. Any other questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. <coughs> Resolution T is to approve appointments for curriculum mapping. The funding source is the Perkins Grant. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yeah. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution U is to approve the National Board Professional Teaching Standard Certified Teacher Appointments to provide support to the NBPTS candidates. Funding source is the general fund. I have a motion. So Questions or comments? <coughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Red? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchet? Yes. Resolution B is to approve National Board Professional Teaching Standard Certified Teacher Candidates. I have a motion. Questions or comments? Yeah. Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokot? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Blithall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution W is to appoint a special education consultant. Funding source is the general fund. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Red? Yes. Oh, Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution X is to approve a supplemental memorandum of agreement with CSEA. The contents of the SMLA was sent home on with my update to the board. I have a motion. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? 
Yes. Mr. Levitt? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Yeah. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Yeah. Ms. Kokoff? Yes. Ms. Rest? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kuchet? Yes. Resolution Y is to abolish full-time media communication specialist position. I have a motion. So move. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokosh? Yes. Ms. Red? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution Z is to create three full-time special education positions as listed. Can I have a motion? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokosh? Yes. Ms. Red? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Double A, resolution to approve revised job description for the assistant superintendent for student intervention and support services. Can I have a motion? So moved. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Reck? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Ms. Kuchin? Yes. Resolution B B to, is to extend the probationary period for a teacher. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokaw? Yes. Ms. Reck? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Resolution CC is to approve the tenure recommendation for a teacher. Can I have a motion? So moved. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Bogart? Yes. Ms. Red? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Yes. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Mrs. Weimer. Our next item on the agenda is from the clerk of the board. Thank you, Madam President. I have four meeting minutes to be approved. The regular meeting minutes of June 28, 2011, the meeting of August 28, 2012, the special meeting of September 9, 2012, and the regular meeting of September 27, 2012. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Ms. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Brokosh? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Kuchek? Yes. Mr. Thank you, Mr. McCoy. Yes. Our next item on the agenda is public discussion and comment on agenda items. First, we will hear from Jennifer Castabile and Mark Whalen. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jen Castabile. I've been a teacher at MFA for 17 years. Uh, Mark Whalen could not be here tonight, and so I'm asking that William Walker, 30 years in the district, if he could step in and present with me. And please understand that although um, my name and Mark's are the ones that are attached to this agenda item, we speak on behalf of a large faction of our English department at NFA, in addition to a large faction of our faculty in both buildings. Thank you. And we will now present you with a PowerPoint. <laughs> Ms. Castabile, will this be within the five minute limit because um, this is for public comment. It's not really for presentations. Uh, yeah, it okay. should be. 
Certainly, you could have it presented to the board clerk so that we could finish Absolutely. the discussion. Yes, We are stakeholders in the education of our students. We are members of the Greater Newburgh family. We are English language arts educators. We are frontline advocates for the growth and development of our students. We are professionals. We are serious contributors to our community's future. We commend and appreciate the clarification offered by Superintendent Pizzo in his memo dated October 22nd, 2012, clarifying the current APPR plan. However, we are aware that forces far more influential than ourselves have driven the recent course of events in education, particularly as they relate to a new APPR process. In spite of who the signatories to this new construct may have been, Please understand that we have felt an increasing sense of disenfranchisement for several years leading up to this point, but never more so than now. Teachers have not been uniformly trained in the process of developing, teaching, and implementing initiatives such as the SLO, APPR, Danielson Rubric, Professional Teachers Portfolios, and Professional Development. For example, Teachers have received no directive on maintaining a professional portfolio to be part of their evaluation at the end of the year. None of our professional development days in this school year have provided meaningful or applicable information regarding the development of Stage 1 and Stage 2 SLOs the most pressing initiative at this time. Teachers have instead been encouraged to give up their prep time and even lunch periods in order to learn what we need to know about SLOs. Teachers have received conflicting directives regarding Stage 2 development. The state guidelines require teachers to finalize Stage 2 in concert with the principal. Yet the executive principal's correspondence, dated 11-1-12, directs teachers to meet with APs and directors to set final targets and submit SLO Stage 2 online for final approval. Has our district explored alternatives to the Danielson rubric? Can or should our district alter the APPR based upon the Danielson rubric? Danielson herself has said that her entire rubric was never meant to be an annual evaluation for teachers, but meant to serve as a model for a 30-year teaching career. Many of our surrounding districts are not using the entire Danielson rubric. It has been reported that Danielson is currently suing the New York City Board of Education for misuses of her rubric. Based Sorry, on we'll pre-assessments of students' um, growth, stage one, SLL, are already invalid. According to NYSED guidelines, teachers are not to grade their own assessments, yet we have been instructed to do so. One of the rubrics for scoring the pre-assessments was not provided to English teachers until October 22nd. Initially, 
teachers must be able to defend their stage two SLOs as early as no. Discretion of the board. Does the board want to hear the rest of this and they'll give up their five because it's a total of 30 minutes. So. That's fine. We'll, we'll all speak five minutes. Because if, if other people want to speak five minutes, we can continue from this point on. Go ahead, do it, do it. Yeah. Yeah. On another subject. Right. No, this. No. I think the issue is, Madam okay. President, is that there may be some other people besides people that are presenting this matter. We only have a 30 minute limit for public speaking. Right. So, so if we stop else, this, but they want to speak on this, they can come up and have five minutes. No, I was, I, what I was suggesting was that if there's someone else in the audience who wants to speak on another topic, they would be prevented from talking on that topic because this would take up the full 30 right. minutes for public Which is speaking. why I was stopping this portion. Yes. Madam President. Yes. But if other speakers want to yield the time, I believe that's what the question was. Yes. If other speakers yes. want to speak, they want to yield their five minutes yes. to allow this presentation to yes. yes. I believe this one was that. Yes. yes. Okay. And two other people that are signed up to speak, so um, that's ten minutes off. How much time is left on that presentation? I was trying to cue it up to where it was, but I wasn't sure where it came from. Where it was turned off. Yes, Ms. Resch. the board to continue. They have about two minutes left on this presentation. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. Mr. Howard? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. teaching career. Many of our surrounding districts are not using the entire Danielson rubric. It has been reported that Danielson is currently suing the New York City Board of Education for misuses of her rubric. Baseline free assessments of students grow stage one SOL are already invalid. According to NYSED guidelines, teachers are not to grade their own assessments, yet we have been instructed to do so. One of the rubrics for scoring the pre-assessments was not provided to English teachers until October 22nd. Initially, teachers must be able to defend their stage two SLOs as early as November 6th. At professional development, it was stated that a vast majority of the faculty of over 300 educators at Newburgh Free Academy will not score a rating above a two, which renders teachers either ineffective or developing. There is a lack of available technology in the building. Almost all of the smart boards and projectors in the building have not been mounted. TVs and DVD players are broken, and there are no remotes for many of those that are still working. There is a lack of enough computers and computer labs for the large population of students we have in the building. Copy machines are constantly broken. If teachers are to be exemplar, then the working conditions need to be equally exemplar. 
Teachers have been told by the executive principal to drink the Kool-Aid. This statement undermines the seriousness of the educational initiatives our district is facing and creates a negative, hostile, and discouraging workplace. Harassing, bullying, mocking, intimidating, devaluing, and denigrating teachers publicly, privately, or through emails does not foster student growth. Teachers need to become a viable and valuable part of the planning and decision-making process for these new initiatives rather than minor stakeholders. In the past 10 years, English teachers this is a have been told that their effectiveness has been perfect. predicated upon at least 12 different initiatives that have faded in or out of the educational marketplace or gone to the wastelands of training okay. pedagogy uh, or yes. educational consultants. Yes. Despite Please all turn these conflicting initiatives, Bennett Valley has had a 92% pass rate for all students on the January 2012 As part of our public comment procedure, it specifically now states the that the matters of public in interest in of school operations and programs programs may be discussed, but criticizing or personally attacking any person connected with the school district will not be tolerated. I would ask that a copy of this be provided to the board clerk and the appropriate staff will be given all of these issues and concerns to review. Thank you. Thank you. and I'm president of the Newburgh Teachers Association. I am very concerned for the educators of our district. Over the past few weeks, I have held many meetings with teachers who see their profession dramatically changed by the new evaluation system. The complete change in curriculum with the Common Core and economic circumstances that have hurt our district tremendously. I don't ever recall morale being this low. Teachers are depressed, demoralized, and that serves no one, especially not our students. The over-reliance on testing has led to teachers having less time to actually do their jobs and teach. For many, there have been few days of actual teaching since the beginning of September because of Terra Novas, Dibbles, student learning objective, pre-assessments, etc. With the wording of the evaluation agreements speaking so clearly about terminating teachers who have been rated ineffective because of testing and observations, there are major concerns that certain administrators will use this new APPR, the evaluation system, to try to get rid of teachers that they perceive as thorns in their side. Some administrators have casually mentioned parts of the APPR to intimidate teachers. Well, if you're not willing to stay after school to attend an extra meeting that starts at five o'clock, then you will not score well in domain four on the APPR. While Mr. Pizzo and others in the central office have tried to get the message out that this is not a gotcha type of system, the message from some administrators at the building level has been quite different. We need to ensure that that type of thing doesn't happen. 
and that the system is fair. Administrators and teachers have to have a shared understanding of how this can work fairly. I would like to publicly thank Mr. Ed Forchett, sorry he's not here, for setting up the APPR steering committee meeting. It is composed of teachers, building administrators, central office administrators, the administrators union, and the Newburgh Teachers Association. It is a meeting where we can have an open discussion of our concerns about this evaluation process and all hear the same thing at the same time. It is my hope that we can work together to make this as fair and reasonable a process as possible and communicate the information to all the stakeholders in the district. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I don't have anyone that else that has signed up, but anyone else wishing to speak on non-agenda items, please step to the podium and give your name and address. Being none, be it resolved that the board hereby recesses into executive session for the following purpose, to discuss the employment history of particular individuals and to discuss negotiations under the Taylor Law. The board will not be taking action after the executive session. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lofton? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Rolkoff? Yes. Mr. Yes. Thank you, everyone, for being here this evening.